Good morning. Yes, I woke up like this. <laughs> Christine Sky, and today I'm gonna to do a little what I eat in a day with little bits of I guess workouts and just me walking Duke and stuff like that so I can kind of show you like my fitness and what I eat and stuff so like some ideas for meals and stuff like that lots of people have been asking me please do what I eat in a day my first very first video was what I eat in a day I've hid it now because it was absolutely terrible so first off I'm gonna show you my breakfast and we're gonna make a oat filled smoothie. I've got my trusted old blender which is a Nutri Ninja, I don't know if you can see that but that's the blender I'm gonna use and I'm using the big cup. We're gonna put a bunch of ingredients, ingredients. We've got some bananas which Duke is just over there he's probably gonna go crazy at me for we got three bananas I tend I mean these bananas are quite big so I might just put two but I tend to put three bananas in my smoothie every morning and I know a lot of people can say that's a lot but my belly <laughs> you want some banana he loves banana good boy so we just break those off slap them in Two. I think I might just put one on top as a topping so we save one and they gotta be ripe bananas otherwise your smoothie's not gonna be sweet and basically I use the bananas to sweeten up my smoothie next I'm just gonna slap in some spinach I'm not gonna put too much because I put too much the other day and it's not it doesn't make the taste bad but I just wasn't interested in having such a green smoothie <laughs> got some frozen mango chunks I just get the frozen kind because it takes a long time to cut and I feel like I get more for my money in this because um, this is like a two pound bag from Sainsbury's and when I cut a mango I tend to get barely anything because obviously I'm probably just crap at cutting but I just slap in I kind of guess it's probably like a small handful and then I decided to start adding in cranberries frozen cranberries to my of this course basically I heard it does good for your urinary tract and I mean what 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 do you you know why not get more fruits in your smoothie and plus it doesn't really change the flavour so I thought why not let's just slap it in just a couple little bits in there and then I've got a piece of ginger which I just break it off my piece of ginger I don't really measure it it's like the size of a the top of your thumb um, that's what I tend to cut every day and put it in my smoothie it makes a different taste so if you don't like ginger I don't suggest you put it in so I've got some sesame seeds and just sprinkle like a tablespoon I guess in there you can do more you can do less it's really up to you I, these things don't really make a difference in my head they're just um, for nutrition um, I guess yeah for nutrition and then I've got these chia seeds that I bought quite a long time ago but I've been using them a lot recently that's why there's so little left I'm just going to sprinkle some of them in you got to be careful with chia seeds because if you're having too much protein it can be fattening and these are high in protein they got the omega freeze the fiber and the protein so and then I'm going to sprinkle in my oats these are brown, basically they're whole oats and wheat bran or whatever, I don't know how to call this, oat bran and wheat bran, that's what the name is, because I don't want to eat all white stuff, I just, I want the full nutritional, what's the point in eating it if it's got no nutrition, you know? So this is good for protein, well not complete protein, but it's good for protein too, so I just sprinkle like half a cup in there, I guess these measurements, you know, I don't really kind of... And basically what the oats do is it thickens it up, makes it all nice and thick, so it's like a nice cream, you know those those vegan people who do nice creams, and yeah, and then I've got some, sometimes I put water when I'm having like a raw day, but today I'm doing Alpro Almond, but I do it unsweetened to make this whole thing sugar free, because I am sugar free, so most of my meals throughout the day I say most, all of my meals throughout the day are going to be sugar free. I'm talking about pr 
processed sugars. And I'm still trying to get rid of like things like flour and stuff like that, so you may see some of that, um, just so you know. And this, I just pour in till at the bottom of the cup there's a measurement and it says like 200. And I don't think that's 200 mil. Oh, it's gone to 300. But obviously there's stuff in the cup. So it's fine. It just needs to be like enough to make it blend. What else? I think that's it. Now I'm going to go and put this in the blender and then we're going to chop up some toppings. Okay. 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 Now that that's going, <laughs> we are going to chop up some toppings as I like to have some toppings on my smothers. So I've got this really kind of ripe, proper ripe, it's like soft because when they're not ripe enough they're very sour and I think loads of people like that but I like mine to be more like, oh my belly's rumbling, I don't know if you can hear that. You probably can hear the blender in the background but, so I'm just going to slice up this. Um, I'm going to probably slice up this last banana too, put it on top and we can sprinkle some oats on and I'll show you that in a second. Probably the worst knife I've to get. So now I've got my bowl. Um, the smoothie's ready. Yay! Yes. Do a taste test. Obviously, when you do get this out of your um, blender, you should do a taste test because then you, there's like loads of space you can add stuff. Mmm, mmm, very nice. Don't look at me like that, Duke. It's not for you. So we're gonna pour it in. It's nice and thick. So now. What I do is I sprinkle on, I sprinkle on toppings. Um, so get oats again. If I want oats, sometimes I don't want oats on top. But I sprinkle that on. You probably see my Instagram pictures. I always do like half, 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 like lines and stuff. I need to come up with some new ideas. So I just put a little bit because I put quite a bit of oats in today and I didn't put enough moisture so I don't want it to be too dry. And then we're just going to line up our fruits. I didn't cut it very well today. Sad. Um, I didn't bring the right knife. And yes, I eat my fruits with the skin on. <laughs> well, my kiwis. Not all fruits I eat with skin on. I discovered that you can eat it with fruit with skin on. And there's nutritional nutritional um, benefits from it so I kept the skin on when I blend it I just cut off the ends and like if I made the smoothie with the kiwi inside I just cut off the ends and then throw the whole thing in with the skin so if you'd prefer to do that then that's also pretty easy to do gotta make trying to make it all pretty and stuff I hope you can see this so I'm making a mess the piece right about now. I should have put the bananas on the bottom, but oh. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle on some she sees a little bit down the middle to make it look even fancier. You know, because we've got to be artists out here with our breakfast. <laughs> That's enough. And et voila! The breakfast is ready. Ready to eat, eh? <laughs> Trainers on. Got the jig. Okay, so stick. And we go for monkeys. Okay, jig, we're crossing. Good boy, let's go. <laughs> it's nice when you come out in my area. You like always hear birds singing. You're in the car. It looks like you. It's got the same colours. Just <laughs> scared. Yeah, it's some water. It's dirty water, dude. It's dirty water.
I train Duke to go to his bed when I have like a tree. <laughs> and I didn't even tell him. I just took the tree out and he dived onto his bed and laid down. You want your tree? You want your tree? You've been a good boy. Good boy. Aww. Okay. Sorry if I look a bit like a wet poodle, but I just washed my hair. You saw how it was earlier. It needed to be redone. Yeah, so it's a bit of a mess. It's just drying right now. But it's lunchtime and I am going to show you a really, really quick thing that I practically do nearly all the time because I'm lazy as hell. And I, when I'm working during the day, I kind of just throw this together because basically it's couscous and avocado and some seasoning and tomato stuff. And couscous takes like... Hey. Hey. You want to be in the show? I'm cooking though. You have to... You want some food, don't you? You can't have this food. <laughs> yeah, so couscous takes like less than five minutes. It takes like two minutes to make. I already made some earlier because the kettle's downstairs. Okay, so this is like the simplest recipe I know, I think. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it requires bare minimal work and when you're working like me and you're editing and you really just want something quick and tasty, boom, it's done. Obviously you can add so many more vegetables, so many more, like you could add green leaves to it, you could have, I always do different things sometimes but today I'm going to show you the simplest form of what I normally do. We're going to begin with, we've already got our couscous, so in order to make the couscous I've put a third of a cup of couscous in here, one third cup, like actual measuring cups, and a third and another half of a third cup to, of water, hot water, kettle water, yeah? Kettle, boiling water. <laughs> so you just let, you just pour the water on top, let it sit for a bit. You can put salt in there, but I put my salt afterwards. Okay. So couscous is ready. Now, next up, you just need an avocado. I cut mine open earlier because it was it was rock hard and I really wanted an avocado and I just thought basically a trick is if your avocado is rock hard open it leave it on the side for like a couple hours so when you're doing your breakfast if you think ahead for your lunch or your dinner then you can kind of cut this open ready to go it's probably still a little bit hard but it's good enough so what we're gonna do is we are just gonna slice this up oh it's pretty soft carefully though yeah it's still a bit hard on some parts i've got tomato puree i don't really eat from concentrated food so it's basically just tomatoes that's the only ingredient here it's just been pressed and pressed and pressed squeezed out whatever so yeah, and sometimes I make my own, but I have this one as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a spoon. You can take one spoon or I take a spoon and a half. And then I'm going to just smash this into this couscous. But yeah, so you see how it's this kind of evenly distributed quite a bit. You don't want too much tomato puree because, um, sorry, seriously, it can give you some serious bowel issues or it can freaking not taste as great. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave that half and just eat half an avocado. But normally I put a whole avocado in here. Obviously as well, a lot of people worry about the fat, healthy fats and all this kind of stuff. I'm not too worried about stuff and it's kind of a small, smallish avocado so should be cool. So now basically I'm just going to scoop this out, put it on here with I'm scooping the edges like this. It'd be a lot, it, trust me, it, it is a lot easier when the avocado is just like smooth and mushy and it's much nicer as well. But I don't mind either way because I'm hungry and I want an avocado. Oh, so this is the one you want to get. Dun, Dun's River all purpose seasoning and this is the one that's sugar free. The Caribbean one, which it also says like 
I think it says all purpose seasoning or all seasoning or something like that. It says Caribbean's like at the top here and that one has sugar in it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sprinkle some of this on top of this. You can do less. I mean, some people think this is spicy. I don't know why, but I think it might be paprika or something. So it's really up to you how much you want to put in there. Oh, and then I've got this sea salt. Sprinkle, just do a pinch, sprinkle it on. Do like two pinches, I think. And that should be enough, I think, yeah. And then you just mix it up. With this, some people might think it's a little dry, but the tomato puree, if you think it's a little bit dry, then you can add a little bit more tomato puree. Don't add too much. Sometimes with the avocado as well, the avocado can make it more moist. Um, but other than that, that is lunch. My little lunch here. Um, yeah, adding other vegetables, other fruits, I guess. You can add that to this and enjoy. Mine, Mine's pretty basic but it's pretty much, you can pretty much add anything. You can have sweet corn, spinach, tomatoes, cucumber. I have like some pictures on my Instagram. You can check my Instagram um, of my different versions of this kind of dish. And before anyone tries to comment, I know that couscous is white. It's not a whole kind of wheat. I don't know how to explain it, but basically I've been doing research on it recently and I eat this pretty regularly. This is the only not whole grain that I eat. I am looking for one that is whole grain. I don't know if you can get couscous whole grain, but I would love to have whole grain couscous because I know with whole grain pasta, it adds a hell of a lot more fav flavor to the dish when you have whole grain pasta compared to just the plain, you know. So. When I figure that out, I'll let you know where I got that from and if if it exists and if you know one that exists, please tell me, comments below. <laughs> and then I guess I'm going to eat this, we're going to walk Duke and I guess I'll see you then or at dinner. Hey guys, I don't know if you can see me properly or how I look. <laughs> I'm just in bed, I gotta lay down because I can't sit up for too long. But um yeah i'm just having my little break from editing and freaking planning this crap of doodles of life um i'm watching a little pewdiepie and i've got some almonds here i just pick at these like i this will last me like a week or a couple weeks so i'll eat a couple of those with some raisins and it's like a kind of trail mix kind of thing with that mine's the chocolate and i'll just eat those for a bit it's kind of like late and i gotta make dinner but a lot of times i just eat some almonds and raisins but i'm i think i'm going gym today so i'm probably gonna have to cook some dinner in a little bit just a small dinner because i think i'm not used to eating so much recently so we shall see what i eat if i eat anything but it might just be almonds and raisins like i usually do but yeah see you at dinner so guys, I'm going to conclude my day of eating because I've got to go gym later. Maybe I'll show some gym clips, I don't know. But for dinner, I didn't really feel too hungry. So I just had this hummus. I had this just a little while ago, you know, when I was eating nuts and raisins. And I'm going to dip these into here. Silly bomb. Tired. I don't know, like recently, for the past like two weeks, I think it's been. I have been having this weird kind of, stop doing that. I weirdly haven't had that much of an appetite. Like it's ever since I've been like super serious on my sugar free and I kind of made that connection and that weird, I had really changed my relationship with sugar. Like I just don't crave it anymore. It's just not a thing for me anymore. And ever since then, I just, it's not, I'm not really that hungry. You know what I mean? I mean, in your, in some people's eyes, that's what I ate today is probably a lot of food. But in some people's eyes, it's, it's barely anything. But I've always had a pretty small appetite. I tend to, before, I tend to eat more high calorific foods. That's why I probably, I feel like I gained weight. But um, 
I always did used to eat very small so I can understand why now that I'm eating healthy still I don't eat as much and plus as well I'm very like my life is much in very much in bed because of my pain and stuff in my leg so you kind of have to work with your own parameters but other than that I think that's about me done for the day <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my way in a day for the day and if it helped if you got some ideas like share subscribe I will in future be exploring more and doing more like meals that create more like that take more effort and take more like they're more adventurous but right now because of my kitchen situation it's a very tiny kitchen and I'm in a house with my family who is just got all their stuff in there it's not pretty so it's okay it's just not like it's not picturesque so I can be like uh you know aesthetic and stuff so I am actually going to rent out a kitchen somewhere pretty soon um and I'm going to film a bunch of videos on that day get it out to you guys and then I'm going to keep going back hopefully there I haven't been yet so I kind of have to work out the situation but that should be good right look forward to that it's gonna be all sugar-free all vegan and yum but other than that thank you for watching and love and light